Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Major League Gaming Spring Arena number two. This is Championship Sunday. I'm Rob Simpson. And I'm Apollo. And we are just about to watch Heart versus Symbol. That's right, man. Down to six players. One of these guys mm -hmm. is going home. Going all the way back home to Korea. One of them is going to stay for a little bit longer. Uh, I don't just, know which one just it's going to be. Just a shade. Although, actually, there's, there's been a lot of talk about Symbol potentially making it to the finals. Yeah. Now, let's get these players introduced. So up here in the upper left-hand corner of the map, repping Team Complexity, the Red Terran. This is Hart. His opponent down here in the lower right-hand corner of the map, Team SCV Life's Symbol. All the hype around Symbol recently, Rob. I mean, this guy's gone from Code B to Code S in a single mm -hmm. season. Zero to hero? Yeah, zero to say. hero. Second finisher in the French Iron Squid Tournament as well. Beating Marine King Prime Which was online. a success. He also beat, uh, and then beat Mar Nest yeah, T Nest yep. at the event. Did fall down to the, the might of MMA, but did take a couple of games before falling for sure. But he's on fire recently. But this guy, Hart, has also been performing so well within MLG. Finishing third, fourth place last event here. Mm -hmm. um, to the surprise of many. Yeah, he uh, performed incredibly well for that being his, his huge MLG debut. Yeah. Um, there, And I mean, clearly, he's here to stay, mm -hmm. right? Like, he's... He's continued to play well. And both of these guys are, are specialists within this matchup, which is actually really important here. As we already see uh, Hart dedicating to going for this two racks. It's not super early. It's like 12 barracks and then 13 yeah, barracks. So he hasn't things. rushed it out uh, at all here. But he can still apply a decent amount of pressure. But on the other side of the, uh, the, other side of the coin is that, yes, Symbol is a specialist too within this matchup. He's helped Pult be the guy he is today, being on the same team. And uh, uh, right, training partner. Yeah, he, training he actually partners. he gets to train with Pult. That's uh, and uh, that's Pult, Pult's, a, Pult's a pretty strong Terran. Pult's a up. very strong Terran here, and we do see the 15 uh, spawning pool coming down already here. Mm -hmm. And uh, he hasn't drone scout. That's one thing to note here. So he's going to see this in mm -hmm. second of all, Rob. He has not left a. Uh, oh, actually, he did. did. What did he see? I didn't see that. Okay, he saw one barracks, but he, he didn't see the second. There. Which is man, look how clutch that like yeah. placement is. And I think he's got a drone idle on the hatchery, natural hatchery two, which is just p patrol moving, expecting potentially this that two bunker, barracks to actually yeah. happen here. Huh. All right, so symbols getting pretty well prepared. His spawning pool's yeah. just about done. So I mean, regardless of any aggression that comes in, he should be able to to thwart it pretty handily. Well, and let's it's find actually out. looking like okay. I mean, yeah, he's going to have enough to pop out his second queen at his natural. Yeah, he builds two queens and a couple of links. Uh, it looks like Hart is maybe banking marines up, uh, and he's just going to attack with, like, five. Uh, five is, like, the magic number, really. If you go too high, um, you kind of lose the the power of it because your opponent's ready. Mm -hmm. He's got queens out. He's got links. But uh, well, five seems to be the magic number here, but let's see how long he's going to wait to reveal this. You need to make sure that they use that that second round of larva after they make the mm. zerglings on drones yeah. before you can push or else yeah they're going to be fine. And he's too coming prepared. now. Uh, that now, is five marines. Now he can prevent this. He can only show two of these marines. It would be a much better scenario for Oh and now it's entirely shown. Let's actually check how much larva he has. He still has three larva available here. Yeah. So he is going to be able to build enough units to stop this. He's also already started a spine Ooh. crawler of his own. Has a clean out and he's got ten lings on the way. This is probably going to be fruitless for Hart. Yeah let's see. If he can get the spine crawler down that's the key but Symbol wants to prevent that from happening here, using drones to buffer to buy some time. He can run into the main though, if he can he get past could. this. Oh, wow. Yeah, he actually didn't have too much of a window of opportunity there, and now Hart is forced to turn yeah. around, although we can see that it's not, uh, not, not entirely bad for him. He did force so many lings out of Symbol, which is just very nice for him. He's, he's already at three queens. I'm not sure if he has a fourth in the main, but the, the, net, the command center has gone down. Uh, and like we said, this wasn't a dedicated, I'm going to kill you early on, and there's the fourth queen. This was more of a, uh, I'm just going to try and do a bit of light pressure, force a lot of lings, force the spine crawler, uh, and then just fall back on an expansion here. And he's actually thrown down, oh wait, that's actually really big here. If Hart controls well, he can actually pick off everything there. Ooh, and then that's going to mean that Symbol's not going to have any further information on what's going on in his base, outside of what his overlords can get. And he's also really not going to force... Hmm hard to do anything that he like wasn't planning to do anyway. Yeah, uh, so that was actually uh, pretty big for, for Hart to, to kill there. There's quite a lot of links gone down there. 
And he's obviously going to have to rebuild the wings eventually, which is less drones. But we do have the double barracks coming down to help this. So there's four barracks in total now with gas. Uh, so this usually is just a very easy, natural, smooth transition follow, uh, which is just stim combat shields, move out, try to do aggression before your opponent banks enough gas, before he techs, before he gets a bailing nest down. Or even if he does have a bailing nest down, he will only have a limited amount of gas to actually spend there if he's teched up to lair, if he's getting upgrades. Um, and there's the engineering bay down too to upgrade those marines even further. And so his heart moves into the mid game. It's looking like we see symbol, I mean, entirely unpressured at this point. Now, he lost all of those links, so that mm -hmm. pretty much means that he has zero map presence at this point. So Hart is very much in control of, of whatever's going to happen moving um, into the mid And game. also, now, he can't really break the rocks down fast either to help his third base. <laughs> so he's going to start now, but that's four links when it could have been 8-10. Uh, uh, and so that's going to be quite annoying, and, and it could actually favor Hart. Right, because Hart, here comes Hart with this timing. This could actually work out very nicely for him, where well, now he's this not going to be able to defend that This isn't the third. timing, but this is a I'm going to make you build units timing. Mm. But he didn't really go too far. He checked the creep spread. I think he could have put his toe a little bit deeper in the water there. Do you think he should have checked to where like, if you If you the check third? the third base, you run the risk, because you're on creep quite deep, you run the risk of losing everything. But he needs to put his toe in a bit deeper to force units out. So this, he's just kind of, he may scan as well uh, to get rid of the creep tumors, but he's trying to make units or force units to be made. And Symbol's not taking the bait. No, not at all. He actually feels entirely confident yeah. with what he has available. I guess when you already have four queens behind anyway, there's like not a terribly large amount of units here. Oh, and here he is. Looking like he is going to push up that ramp onto the third. And now I, I believe that? that Symbol can actually just use that, that third, cancel it at the last second. But then all of Hart's Marines are going to be trapped there because he's already mm -hmm. repositioned a spawn call out here. He's going to have two queens as well. But that's, four that's worth it for the Marines. To kill that many creep tumors to force the units and delay the third base. He actually doesn't give a crap about those Marines. He'll leave them there in a great position to even further minimize the loss mm. to take down as much as possible. But right now we do have the Bailey Nest finishing up the Roach Warrant also. Uh, but the, the scary thing is the timing that we talked about hasn't even kind of fallen out yet. It doesn't come into place. We're still waiting for Stim to finish in plus one. Uh, and that's going to be the most scary part here. And without, without that third base, uh, the most important thing is you actually struggle for lava now yes. because you don't have that extra hatch. And more importantly, you don't have the gas required to build enough bailings if you want to continue to upgrade to 2-2, two -two, which he has to do in just a minute's time. And here he is. He's actually uh, now had to go for a macro hatch. And he's forced to expand mm. to such an awkward location because of that marine placement. Yeah, and that's going to be a lot easier for Hart to deal with. Of course, the creep spread's not uh, close enough around there. It's not spread uh, spread up, so it's going to be easier for Hart to control. And plus one attack is about to finish up. He may actually just wait for the medivacs now, too, since the starport's on its way. Uh, but he is going to move across anyway. So I guess he can go in, stim a couple times, then retreat back, and then use the medivacs. But this is going to be a, a nice little push here, and it's going to come down to Hart's control. He has to split like crazy if he wants to take a good fight. And I mean, he's going to have plenty of time to prepare coming in. Now look at that huge amount of Zerglings being morphed in right now. He's got 13, or excuse me, Banelings coming into play. Uh, as long as Symbol is just able to connect a couple of these, his attack is going to be entirely stopped. And now Hart staying pretty active with his Marines, getting out there with the Sim, also scanning to take down a couple of those, and comes in with the reinforcements to push back Symbol. And now we see Symbol trying to go in for that flank with Banelings. Ooh, they don't have speed, though. An off creep. Oh, wow, an off creep. He really, yeah, he can't push off of that. Yeah, and so, I mean, both of these guys going toe-to-toe, -to -toe really. Hmm. Um, he's just going to back off his stim once. His units are pretty low in health now, and he wants to wait for the medivacs. So, and he's also taken a third base, which has been scouted by Symbol here. Uh, but two medivacs are on the way, and this makes things a lot more difficult, because even if things start to get scary with medivacs, you can actually pull out and get out and lift up and leave. Ah, this is almost like guaranteed to be some, some like negative waste of money for Symbol just trying to clear this out. Yeah. Having these two Banelings there, losing a, a, a small handful of Zerglings. But with his second Engineering wow. Bay down now, he's going to keep or try to keep up with Symbol's 2-2, two -two, which is now on the way. Uh, Pathogen Clan's going to be key against this style, of course, the heavy bio style, uh, to lock them down with fungal growth and then charging with the Banelings. But it looks like Hart's going to move out again with his Medivacs now. And this, of course, is stage two of the attack, which is a lot more difficult to deal with. And Hart's looking like he's going to have uh, su just such a strong push coming through here. Now, we've Symbol's done a great job keeping up on top of his creep spread, Absolutely. despite Hart's continued effort to scan and keep that, that creep off of the map. 
We've still seen Simple just continue to push through. Now all those links going in for us around on the first batch of units. Hearts comes in with a little bit of backup there, trading only a few of his units for a mm. handful of links. And I, I'm not sure if the economy of Symbol is even that strong, actually. I mean, if you look at the income tab, I bet it's pretty low. Well, it's lower yeah. than the Terran player, which is not really nice at all. Uh, and well, that's and just he because he's been under pressure. So he's well. behind on Lava. He's been under pressure the complete game. He hasn't really drawn... Oh, he took a long time to draw up. He's still building drones now, uh, which is, of course, the worst thing in the world. Yeah, but I think that's it. really great play from Hart, just keeping his opponent on his toes, keeping him on the verge of kind of losing the game to a certain extent if he doesn't make the right amount of units and army to deal with this. And so hard it may, it, it, he may actually continue a push through here, although if he can, like, why not just continue sacking only a couple units at a time and force Symbol to just be so far out of position. There he is scanning. Taking out the live creep tumors means that he's going to have to expose those queens once again to continue growing that spread. Yeah. And that's going to open up a nice little pathway. If he keeps killing creep tumors on the left-hand side, it's going to make his next push so easy with tanks, but... There is a drop on the natural here, and uh, he doesn't really need to even do anything, just pulling units left and right, put it, keeping the pressure on symbol. I mean, just by keeping pressure on, there's, there's nothing been that big happened in this game, to be honest, but it's still 180 supply versus 150 here. The Hearts had no uh, problems taking a third base or building a fourth command center. He's got plus three attack on the way now. And with killing those creatures on the left-hand side, it looks like mm -hmm. he set himself up quite nicely to continue this with tanks, which makes it very difficult for symbol to do anything about that. Yeah, he timed that perfectly with when his siege was finishing up. And now he's got the three siege tanks back there. And Symbol, it's looking like he's actually been forced to try to crush this engagement. And in come the Banelings, connecting beautifully there. Mm. A very nice defend from Symbol. Yeah, absolutely great defense there. I mean, the, the, the Marine spread and Bio spread wasn't amazing there. It enabled the Fungal Growth to be a lot more effective. And Symbol gets a really nice turnaround of events here. Oh man, this could be just the window of opportunity that Symbol yep. needs. Uh, that third base isn't terribly well defended. We actually see that there's just about nothing in the bunker. Although, with this amount of medevacs here, it's going to be pretty hard for him to crush through mm. with an extremely low amount of bane links. Yeah, that was really nice. And that gives Symbol so much breathing room right now. He, he's actually drummed up quite heavily to the, his back base that he was prevented uh, for so long to take. And now he's actually taken a new one as well. So his gas income is going to be pretty scary. Uh, he can throw down the hive any second now as well, as he's going to have this new uh, account, basically, from uh, the Symbol. Uh, I mean, from the bank, but uh, so adrenal glands. Oh, the hive is already down. Then sorry, mm -hmm. the adrenal glands on the way. Three, three as well. But uh, he can throw down the ultras cavern then now. Now, what is. what do you think about ultras in this? We saw it all day yesterday from Polt. I think it's ultralisk is. Against Polt. All right, so this, like it looks like there's a drop in the bottom left too, actually. Yeah. So um, Has it's gonna out, annoy yeah. this hatchery, force to cancel. But the the discussion with ultra broodlords is that. Players have started to adapt to Broodlords where they drop you all over the place and your immobility really sucks. So people are preferring to use Ultralisks. Um, oh, that's... I don't know how they got there, but the turret's about to complete, which... Oh, no. kind of sucks. Well, well I guess... A few. I mean, <laughs> still alright. <laughs> but uh, with the Ultralisk, yeah, I mean, right now, Ultralisk is like the, the fastest thing to do because the Spy's got to go down, the Greatest Spy's got to come down. Then the Corruptors have got to come out, then you've got to move them off to Broodlords. It's just easier to go Ultras Cavern, Ultras, they're done. And, but the problem with that, even though it's a faster, more convenient style of play, is that there's so many Marauders already out. They're already at plus three attack. They already have good armor upgrades as well. So it's like Heart has already got the best composition to actually deal with what Symbol's trying to go for here. So a Symbol needs to go Ultras, but he also needs to back up and tech switch as well pretty yeah. damn fast, which we saw was kind of the key to Pult, or I mean Pult's games yesterday, the way he lost, mm -hmm. was that he wasn't ready for that tech switch, and uh, that's the Spire coming down, so he can actually move over to the to the uh, Greatest Spire as well in the in the future. Yeah, we saw just how, like, there it is. really that um, the Broodlord just ended up so much being the answer, yeah. because nobody, nobody had, like, used them against him all day, and then the one game that... Um, that we saw Violet use just like four Broodlords, he was still able to almost win with that amount. Actually, he still won with only yeah. four Broodlords. Symbol doesn't have that much of a bank right now, so he could have traded there, but he's like, no, well, I'm about to pop all my Ultras. I would, don't really want to waste my Lings and in Infestors until the Ultras are out here. Uh, but very shortly, he's morphing his Bailings now. He's preparing for this push. He's preparing to take this fight, lining up all the upgrades together here now. Wow. And that's a scary amount, and this is going to be quite a deadly force to reckon with. 41 banelings being morphed in there. 
That's a pretty ridiculous amount of mailings. Now he's got a total of 63 out on the field as well as his 94 lings backed up by those three ultras. He's got. He also has a handful of infestors as well with a uh, significant amount of energy on them. And his creep spread's so good despite Hart killing tumors the entire game long. It's still fantastic. He's been really on fire with that, but Hart has to be so careful not to... There's actually a borrowed ling there that sees a lot of the movement of the army right underneath... Uh, everything there, and he sees the unseas. That might actually trigger him, and it does. Immediately moves on the minimap. Robbie sees it all, and that one bird link gives him so much info. Oh wow! And actually, oh, unfortunately, using a lot of those bait links directly onto the first wave of tanks. Although the fungals and the ultras may be exactly what he needs to finish cleaning this wow. up. And now, if we take a look over at production, he's oh, he's going with yet another round of ultra list yeah. as he waits for the greater spire to finish up. And now there is a planetary fortress over here, but those ultras are absolutely demolishing it. Yeah, he's chosen to go for ultras again because he can win the game right there. But that borrowed link mm. in the center there, that I can't single. believe it. That actually gave Symbol the green light to attack as soon as he saw the Unsiege. And that's what Hart kind of fell down on there, not having a turret, not having a scan or something like that to kind of see if there's anything there. And that's a great win for Symbol, who has five, six bases on the map right now and has income yeah. where he can easily tech switch after the, uh, the Ultras. He's even getting plus one attack for, for Roach and Hydras which, and Queens. I guess, screw it, you've got the money, he's doing extraordinarily well here, so why not? Another really crucial part of that engagement was that, I mean, yesterday we saw that time and time again, Pult's medevacs yeah. were, were allowed to continue to live, mm -hmm. continue to have energy, so that his yeah. small amount of marines just lasted for, for far too long. Oh, and these banners getting out here, trying to connect to finish off that little harassment. Uh, Symbol doing it. Pretty good job keeping that out of there. But uh, so after that last engagement, Symbol was able to fungal like six medevacs at once and kill all of them at the end of the at the end of the battle. And they just take so long to replenish. You see, the heart is only yeah. just finishing adding those. Especially if he wants to start making Vikings too. And he's only got mm -hmm. one starport. Uh, and it looks like Symbol's going to go in here. And this is not the best way to engage, but he has so many ultralists where it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's not looking like Hart's going to really be able to get out of here. We can see the reinforcements coming in. Uh oh, the single Ultra believes that it can fight a planetary fortress all by itself. Of course, its allies being smashed back by the reinforcements. But here are the Hart. Corruptors coming in. Quite a heavy force now. And so we are going to see the switch now. There's no Vikings on the field whatsoever. Uh, Hart is not prepared for this at all. I mean, he has Marines, but he's not going to be able to touch the Marines because there's still so many Infestors left with energy. And there's the Broodlord switch now. He is pushing at the same time after killing the Ultras, so he's got a window of opportunity. But it's not that big because the Ultras, I mean, the Corruptors are already out there, already mm -hmm. moving the Broodlords. And the four of the Broodlords are just about to finish up. He only needs to buy a little bit of time here. Now, with the amount of energy that he has, he easily has enough fungus to just halt this army yeah. for long enough. We see the offensive scans coming out from Hart as he continues to clear off all of oh. that creep. The longer that Hart can make the battle last would be the better. He needs to crush through here immediately. Otherwise, oh man, it's looking like Symbol's Broodlords are just completely exposed right now. Oh, such a small window for Hart to hit, and he actually has. Before the Broodlords really set up, half of them still morphing. There's no oh, investors wow. left to support them. And wow. Wow. What a quick turn of events there. Wow. Symbol looked like he was in a commanding lead, and yeah. Hart, just as you said, hit that that incredibly small window just before he was able to repop all wow. of those ultra losses with his brute boards. I wonder if Symbol's probably kicking himself because that engagement on that planetary fortress, even though he had a lot of ultras, he didn't really need to take that. You know, what did he achieve there? Yeah. What did he actually do? He killed off three well, or four he gave, tanks? Well, he gave Hart a wonderful yeah. window of opportunity yeah. to attack. And he took full advantage, man. <laughs> right. And at this level of play, when you're at the top, top six of MLG, what a mistake, and they are all over you instantly. And Hart capitalizes on that. Oh wow, that brilliant uh, burrowed circling placement. Yeah, that was the highlight of the match actually. And then he does that, he has that board, he comes with the best engagement ever, and then finishes off with the worst engagement ever. It's like, yeah. oh. <laughs> well hey, you gotta, I mean, uh, yeah. you know, win some, lose some. <laughs> yeah, you gotta balance that up, man. Mm -hmm. You can't keep having good engagements, you'll win the entire no, tournament. No, no, no. Yeah, that's the that's the problem, <laughs> right? He's got, uh, I mean, you know, some people said it was Symbol's tournament to win, but clearly he begs to differ. That's a big, big <laughs> win, though, for Complexity and Heart, though, because, mm -hmm. to be honest, I'm not going to lie, Symbol should have won that. But mistakes happen, I suppose, and Heart yeah. jumps all over that opportunity. With the next map being Cloud Kingdom, 
still a very balanced map between these two guys. I think the, the race stats between these are, are relatively equal, actually. <laughs> Hart saying a zip game. I assume that means he wants a, a quick match. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, their fancy lingo. Maybe a zip game. <laughs> I don't know. He's like, maybe. I don't know. Zip game.